When it comes to learning and growing daily, this could be spiritually, this could be, you know, something that you're passionate about that you're learning and growing through, or it could be your business. But reading books, listening to podcasts, using social media as a tool to learn and grow, not as escapism or a distraction to get away from learning and growing, but using it as a tool. So obviously a lot of people have a lot of downtime. And one of the biggest things that, you know, owners of business do, I know we do here, is really encourage reading. Like we do go through, um, we go through chapters of books. Um, you guys get books for us. What books would you recommend for people now or podcasts or whatever yeah. that they should be reading right now? Um, you know, the interesting thing is like most, most of like the classic business books, personal development books are so universal to any time. So I think really going back and you can just Google like top 100 books on this and all of that information is going to be relevant. Um, you know, I think of like the four agreements, um, you know, mainly with the honoring of your word, you know, Tom Shea talks about honoring your word and unbreakable and his new book coming out called three simple things. And they talk about that a ton on their podcast, uh, him and Joseph on solving the gap, but it all go, comes back to honoring your word, um, during this difficult time. Like, like you, you said you would do these things. Will you do them when it's more difficult? You either will or you won't. Um, I think, uh, I always love QBQ question behind the question because right now it's so easy to say, you know, why is this happening to me? Why did I get laid off? Why is my boss doing this? Why did my, you know, mom get sick? Why in the world are my kids stuck in my house? Like all this like why me type stuff. But if you rephrase that of like, how can I take the situation that I've been given and use it as an opportunity? Or how can I handle that relationship better? Um, you know, the whole premise of that book is <clears throat> the success and fulfillment of your life will ultimately be determined by the uh, level of questions you ask yourself and others. And, you know, that one to me is, is huge. Just trying to look at this list of books. I mean, for me, like I've been listening to more sermons lately than ever. Uh, I mean, every day I'm listening to or watching two, three, four sermons um, because the current ones are currently about what we're going through and giving a different biblical perspective on it. Um, so that's been very good for me. Um, but I think if people just get on YouTube and whatever in the world that they're trying to figure out, just type it in there, they're gonna find something that'll, that'll talk to them. And it may be from someone that's different than the influencer or entrepreneur that they've been following for a while. Like it's the best time ever to reach out and find new people that have a new message. I think so many of the people say the same thing so many influencers are saying the same thing. So a good opportunity to get out there and explore with this time and find other people that are kind of preaching a different message. Um, one that may resonate with you more than, than anybody else. Um, so yeah, those are just a, a couple. But I mean, any book that would have been good to read a year ago is really good to read right now. Um, and just reading in general, you know, the whole like all readers are leaders and that whole thing. It's actually true.